July the 29th, 2007. It was the day that forever changed the lives of one nation. In a space of three weeks, Iraq overcame all the odds. All the obstacles. And turned all their dreams into reality. Each and every member of the 23-player squad played a vital role in Iraq's maiden Asian Cup triumph that fateful night. But none more so than this 24-year-old Hiller-born midfielder. A natural leader. Supreme workhorse. With a gifted footballing mind. Nashat Akram's role in the Iraqi setup is undoubtedly of utmost importance. But his modest demeanor often means any glory gained on the pitch is shared with everyone, especially his comrades back home. Since the win in the Asian Cup, my life has changed a lot. But what's more important is that we're able to bring happiness to the Iraqi people. We actually feel more pressure now after that win, as more people are expecting us to do great things and achieve even better results. But that's a positive thing, and I will strive harder to achieve more and bring more joy to my fellow Iraqis. Nashat's rise to the forefront of Asian football started in 1994 as a midfielder with Iraq club al Kuwa al Jawiya. Nashat rarely began maturing as a player when he arrived in Saudi Arabia in 2004. After a short turnout for Al Nasser, he moved to Al Shabab in 2005. There he made huge strides with the club, helping the Riyadh outfit to the league title in 2006. He was also voted the best foreign player in the Saudi league that year. But no one can deny that Nashat's claim to fame was undoubtedly the 2007 AFC Asian Cup. Iraq's victory in the continent's grandest stage was even sweeter, considering the many difficulties they faced en route to their first ever triumph. Preparations for the Asian Cup were far from perfect. During the run-up to the finals, we only played two friendly matches ten days before the start of the tournament. We lost both of those matches and morale was quite low. We also played in the West Asian Football Championships before that and did quite poorly as well. So all wasn't going well heading to Thailand. But we had to accept that was the situation our country was in. I have to thank the Iraq FA for doing their utmost for us and for the country. Nashat's never been one to hog the spotlight, and proof of that came in Southeast Asia last summer. He firmly believes that everyone in the Iraq side played over and above themselves for that success to be possible. The coach always expects us to perform at the highest level. We have to perform during competitive games and also during training. This team has been together for close to six years and we have an understanding so it's easier for us to perform cohesively. Although we are the new generation of Iraq players and all of us are still young, the fact that we have represented Iraq and played together for so long gave us an advantage. The Asian Cup belongs to everyone. Further evidence of his selfless attitude surfaced in November last year. Nashat was shortlisted as the top three footballers in the continent by the Asian Football Confederation. For him, being nominated and mentioned in the same category as teammate Yunis Mahmoud was more than enough. Being selected as one of the top three players of Asia is already a huge achievement. 
to have two Iraqi players nominated says a lot for us. This is indeed a great privilege for the whole of Iraq. He's also quick to give credit where credit is due. Yunus is a renowned finisher. For me, as a provider, to have him playing up front gives me a huge sense of security. I know that he will always be there to finish the job. He's obviously a great player and a huge inspiration to the team and to me. He's a symbol of all Iraq, especially to the young ones. The future generation of Iraq definitely looks up to their heroes, especially Yunis and Nashat. And the 24-year-old hopes that they will continue to believe in them and their country, particularly after their Asian Cup victory. Everyone in this team performed like champions. We played 110%. And what we did in Southeast Asia, I hope, will inspire all the kids all over the world, especially from Iraq. My advice to the young ones is to always put your country first. As a footballer, you might need to think for yourself, but when you play for your country, that's all that matters. Keep believing in us, keep believing in what we do on and off the field, and keep believing in Iraq. A true gentleman. The perfect idol. And a modern day inspiration for the embattled Iraqis. Nashat Akram is determined to change the lives of his people. His attitude on and off the pitch has certainly showed Asia and the world that Iraq has plenty to offer. With heroes like Nashat leading the way, Iraq will be looking to rewrite the history books in more ways than one.